We are back at 850 with start today and plenty of people are focused on getting healthier in the new year, of course, and leading the charge, especially among women is strength training. It was the second most popular fitness trend of the last year. That's according to the American College of Sports Medicine and the subscription based fitness app class pass says that signups for strength training classes have increased by wait for it 94 percent. So here with everything that you need to know to start your journey is James McMillian. He is a NASM certified personal trainer and the director of innovation at Tone House. Well, yes. not for, for any other reason. Than it. I mean, that's what Tone, that's what tone looks like yes. right there. We like to get James, Tone. It's so tone. nice to see you. Nice so let's you. walk through this a little bit. Let's talk about the strength training journey. Is so much about strength mm -hmm. is about your mindset. How do yes. you focus? What's important about mindset? So you have to start with the mindset, all right? What I like to tell people is progress over perfection, all right? Technique over weight, all right? You have to focus on that technique and build up in your journey, as well as you have to set realistic goals for yourself. All right, your spirit has to be stronger than this vessel when you think about training. You talk okay. about it, you have to be intentional with it. You have to goals, be intentional. Right? You can't just think it, you have to really yes. focus. A lot of people go on Instagram, they're like, I want to try this new move and all that. No, you have to set a goal around your capabilities, and that's what we'll go into next. So the luxury is in terms of capabilities, we have some ladies here to be our models for the process. Yes, here. I yes. took my blazer off just to, to feel <laughs> along with you guys. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's Thank as, you for That's as far as my involvement right will go yeah. in this segment. So a lot of this is, is the road map and sort of figuring out where you are fitness wise yes. so help lead the way okay so setting those intentional goals you have to set short-term and long-term goals with that you have to understand your capabilities and your body so we have a strength assessment and I advise you guys to do this at home okay so the first movement we're going to go okay. right into we have a push-up you want to do as many reps as you can for one minute and that push-up you want to lead with right your to chest it. for real yes as many as you can <laughs> and now you have to understand if you're breathing thing is off if your uh, mobility all the above range of motion in that push-up is off second thing we're going to go into we're going to stand all the way up into a squat now you have to have an okay. open chest Good. shoulder width apart you're going to go deep into that squat rise up now things you want to think about is my mobility okay is my range of motion am i able to stay upright okay you do that for 15 to 20 reps after that you come right back down okay. we're going into a forearm plank all so right. in that forearm plank you want to keep those hips nice and leveled if you find your body lowering or rising mm -hmm. then you know you have to adjust and work on your core okay? okay you hold that for one minute or as long as possible after that you work on flexibility and mobility they go hand in hand that with each other that I around. Can't do. yes they I go can't hand touch in my hand. toes so, so that's we're think about more. touching our toes so we're gonna go down to the floor get a nice stretch on those hamstrings if you can't touch your toes it's okay that's what you have to work on you're learning your body or your mobility you sit in that a deep squat, nice open chest, place your hand onto the ground, raise up to the ceiling, say I hello to the world, <laughs> and then you switch sides. Yes, yeah, so you go to the opposite side and you raise up. That's going to show you your mobility. So after you do the strength assessment, you understand your body, your capabilities, and then that's when you go We're into We're about to more. quickly see who works out in this group and who does We should Come make on, you James. do the weather. Yes. I need help. Yeah, no, I'm a little winded. <laughs> right. Mama hasn't so. picked up a resistance band in two years, okay, James? <laughs> yes. So now you know your assessment, you know your capabilities, yeah. and you're understanding, yes, you want to know, okay, what weight do I use? Yeah. I will always tell clients to go from body weight, yeah. resistance bands, into dumbbells, and then into barbells. Okay, why okay? is that? So with resistance bands, yeah. it's joint friendly. Okay. Now with dumbbells, now you can work in different planes of motion as well as a little bit loaded. So what am I doing here? So right now, I you're glad, going I'm to go- you brought your workout shoes today. Yeah, yeah. Good step one. You're going I to want, go I into a squat. With, with I'm going heels. to utilize the dumbbell, okay? okay. okay. I'm going into a I'm goblet doing, squat, yeah. and you're going into a front squat okay. with resistance bands. So you're gonna place your feet on the band. And do the feet need to be shoulder width apart? Yes, okay. shoulder width apart. Slightly turn those toes out okay. for the tracking of your knees. With the point Keep of the that heels. Chest out. Okay. Point of your heels yeah. down. Now you're gonna grip that band, yeah. and we're gonna go into a squat, okay? I want it like uh, this kind of grip. No, you, you want it. Yes, yeah. you want to grab it like that. Yeah, you okay. want to grab it like that. Okay. Elbows up. Yes. We're going down into the okay. squat. So we have three sets of eight reps at home. If you like to do it with us, there you go. All right, okay. you go low, okay. come back up. Think about driving heels, through the idea. floor. Dri driving right. through Push. the floor yes. with the heels. With the heels, okay. Wonder Woman. All right. Okay. Great job. So we got two more reps. Two you, more. You reps. keep going. Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep going. <laughs> So the next thing we're going okay. to go into yes. is a bent over roll. So yeah. I'm going to grab this other dumbbell here. Now, now you're going one. to step. 
the your heel foot on, on two of the bands. Okay. Yes. And okay. This is here. Stagger stance. And now the foot should be pointed out. Yes. Like foot pointed okay. forward. Okay. okay. Nice yeah. big chest. Okay. Neutral spine. Yep. Shoot your glutes towards that back okay. wall. And now we want to think about bringing our elbows towards the ceiling, pulling our shoulder blades okay. together, just like that, as if they're Last the one. and the small of your back. Let's do it. All right. So now you have a chest press. Okay. Yes. I'm going to come over to the bench press. Okay. If you have a bench press at home or in your local gym, our last hey, we're going to keep going. Well. We're yes. going to keep going here. Right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.